Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me because, yeah, I'll just talk about it while I do my makeup. So, actually, I think I might do my eyebrows off camera first because I want to try something. So, I'll actually be right back. Okay, so I did my eyebrows and I primed my lids and now I'm going to go in with my Beauty Creations Tease Me palette. And I'm just going to be using color from this palette. So, yeah. So since it is a get ready with me, it's not quite a tutorial, but throughout the video I'll tell you guys what I'm doing or, yeah. So, what I wanted to talk about in this get ready with me is why I didn't do a get ready with me video for the Osuna concert. And the thing is, I did do it. But it's not, it wasn't how I expected it to be. Just because since the concert was after school, I got home from school at around 2.30. So right when I got home, I did my hair. And I did that. And then my cousin came over and I did her makeup. And then it was my turn to do my makeup. And by the time I started doing my makeup, it was dark. The lighting was bad. I was honestly just rushing because I really needed to get out the door. <clears throat> and then I had to do my sister's makeup after I had done mine. So honestly, it was just like a big mess. I just... It was bad. So I didn't even finish the video. So I didn't think... It, like... I wanted to do it like this, like a chit chat, getting ready, telling you guys how excited I was, but I wasn't even like, like it was a time lapse video how I did last year and I didn't really want to do that. I wanted to do something more like me actually talking and me actually getting ready and it didn't go down like that and at first I was like, you know what, I'll just do a time lapse video and then I'll add like a little bit of, of a vlog at the end and all that, but I was honestly already so like pressured in a way and I just like wanted to get it over with I just wanted to be done so I was like you know what screw this I'm just not I'm just not going to um but I did have a lot of fun the makeup look I did was actually um one that Katie does luster looks um she did a look like a tutorial and I really loved how it came out so I just did that Which, it came out pretty bomb. At first, I didn't like my makeup. Why is it that, like, when you're just, like, randomly getting ready, like, you'll love your makeup. And then, like, once you're going out, you'll just find everything wrong with your makeup. And honestly, I just think that's the fact of you thinking that you're actually going to leave your house in the makeup. And you actually want to look presentable. Which is not that good because you're doing it to please other people. Which, that's not that good. But... Yeah, but anyway, the concert was lit. It was so live. I loved it. If he is having, I think, two or three, two or three shows out here, and so the November second show and I know the November twenty first show. Those are the only shows I know. Um, and I know he was in uh, he was in Las Vegas last night. Um, last night, as in today's November Friday. Today is the 4th? 5th? I don't know. But, yeah. So, I know I didn't post a video yesterday, but honestly, we got home at around 3 and 2.30. We got home at like 2.30. Um, because we did go to eat after. Because we were hungry. I, um, so, yeah, I didn't eat, which was bad because... At the concert, I was low-key hungry. And then I didn't want to go get food because the line was going to be ridiculous. So I didn't want to miss his, like his entrance. But I... I'm either... I either have really good luck or I have really bad luck. And I mean, I don't really count this as bad luck because I still enjoyed my night. But I was sitting next to like somebody that came by themselves. And he was just really like drunk. And he like... You know, he was by himself, so I understand that he wanted to, like, not feel lonely at the concert. Like, he wanted to make friends and stuff. But, you know, like, when someone's drunk, sometimes they can make the other person feel uncomfortable. Which, I mean, I wasn't that uncomfortable because, granted, he wasn't there for half the show because he was out getting, like, himself drinks. So, it didn't really bother me. But, I mean, it was fun. The His performance was really nice. Osuna did an amazing job. I love... He did play a lot of, um... 
his Odisea songs, which I didn't mind. I, I mean, now he has two albums, so it was more of a, sh like, he had more things to sing. And last year, his his performance was like an hour long and then this one was almost like two hours which was amazing he did come out at around like 9 30 9 30 10 he came out pretty late so the show did end at like 12 um i noticed that a lot of people were like complaining that it was late but there was so much traffic and obviously his team wants to make sure that there's enough people for him to actually come out and make an entrance so I don't really understand why people were really complaining over that when like you would have ended up complaining if he came out when you weren't there. And then Swally came out and when he said that he was going to have an artist come out that doesn't speak Spanish, we like my cousins and I, we all thought it was going to be Akon because yes, comentale with Akon. So we were like, hey, no, like if you bring anybody out, it's going to be Akon. And when he said that, I was like, Okay, it's Akon, Akon's coming out. But it was Swally because I guess in his next album they're like gonna have a song or on one of their albums they're gonna have a song together. So, um, yeah, it was pretty cool. Like my seventh grade self was living. I forget the name of the song, but it's like, whatever, I'll put the name somewhere. But he was singing like his songs and it was just so much fun. Um, yeah, I didn't expect out of all people, I didn't expect Swally to come out. Like, it was, like, so random. But he did have a lit performance. He only did, he only performed two songs. But it wasn't his concert. So I wasn't expecting him to, like, perform a lot of songs. I forget that these, like, shimmer shadows are very cushiony. They're very nice. And you can never go wrong with the bronze lid. I didn't cut my crease this time, I just kind of want to do like an all over shimmer, but really focus it here and then blend it out with my finger out there. It was five of us, so it was my two cousins and my two sisters and then me, which makes five. My mom was like all worried because we had Erica and Erica, yeah we're, yeah I'm also underage, but you know Erica's way more underage than me. Um, so my mom was like all mad at us because we brought home, we brought Erica home late, but like, we were just enjoying our time with her. He performed Ibiza, and that is my song. That is my favorite song from the album. Like, and Escape, those two are my favorite songs. And he, when he performed that song, I was like, yes. And then he also, since we got, so we were in section R, row 9, and he, had, he did like a 360. He did a 360 show, so we were like right where like we would see him in all angles. I made sure we got those kind of seats because, yeah, either way, at one point he was gonna be we were gonna he was gonna be facing like we're gonna be seeing his back. Um, I still wanted to like at least be able to see him at every glimpse, you know. So, we got we actually got really lucky because there was all girls in front of us until like the end of the row there was like a couple guys so there was like girls in front of us they weren't that tall like we could still see over them so he we basically saw him like the whole night and then Corazon the Seda came on and Erica we put Erica at the edge to make sure she's like it was her first concert um so she wanted to make sure like she saw everything so she was like all the way at the edge and he saw Erica and he like went like blew a kiss and Erica was like freaking out. It was so cute. And then like perfect timing, like the girls in front of us went out to get drinks. I don't remember what song he was singing. I was like, you know, like singing and then I was like waving and then he waved back and then he waved at all of us at one point, which was so cool. I was living, I was like, wow, like now I can definitely die happy. <laughs> like, Hold on, I'm going to interrupt. I'm trying out the Fenty Primer and the Fenty Foundation. This is in the shade 220. I've been wanting to try this foundation out. I just never had the balls to ask them. I always get really nervous asking them to color match me. I don't know why, if they're there to help me, but I just get kind of nervous. Oh my god, I just put this. But anyway, so yeah, he definitely saw us and he noticed us and... 
his wife was there too, but obviously we didn't see her. Yesterday at Sephora. Okay, so you know how they'll do like that color IQ thing on you? Okay, well, <clears throat> they've done that to me before, and honestly, the girl just like did it, and she was like, here's your foundation shade, and I was like, what? Like, I was so confused, I was like, that didn't help, no nothing. Um, she didn't even like explain it to me, and she didn't have to, but she could have just told me like what it was, you know, for. Like, she did tell me that it's like for your foundation, like I'm not dumb, but she was just kind of like, I'm going to do this thing on you, and then you'll find your shade and I was like oh, okay and I thought she was gonna like guide me and whatever but she did it so then yesterday the girl asked me she, I mean she did that thing on me and then she was like have you ever done this before and I was like I have but the girl like did it and then she was like oh here's your shade but didn't like tell me like that a bunch of shades were gonna pop up um and she explained it to me and she was just so helpful and then they can talk she was just, <laughs> she was just so helpful, and wow, this looks really good with the sponge. And whenever they tell me, you know, when they give me like tips and stuff, I always listen to them. I never, I never think I'm too good at like makeup or whatever to like not be able to learn more because you always have to make sure you're expanding your knowledge. But I do. Whoa, where did these little pimples come from? Guys, my skin is having a freak out, and I don't know why. I ran out of my face wash, so I used my little sister's, and I, like, I know for sure that definitely broke me out, but it broke me out like crazy. I, like, I haven't seen myself up this close in ever. I mean, who wants to see themselves up close like this? Right now, I'm using the viewfinder to, I mean, my phone to see how I'm blending out here. Just need to get it. And I like to give my, my skin, like, breaks of things, so I do use a lot, like, a, like I used to use a lot of, like, benzoyl peroxide products, but I wanted to give it a break just so my skin, like, doesn't get used to that, because I don't, like, honestly, my breakouts have definitely gotten way better, way better. I used to break out all the time, and I think it was because, like, I was going through change, like, I just started wearing a lot more makeup, and my skin has never, like, like there's never been so much product on it so I mean I understand and then I was like you know going to puberty and all that but honestly I'm so happy that I caught it when I did because I feel like that has a big thing to do why my skin has been so good and all that stuff so if you are just like starting to wear makeup and your skin is starting to break out don't be alarmed just because your skin is not used to having all the product and having all of that and you can tell I have like a huge pimple right there that pimple was so big like it was the ones that like came from under the skin that was like a lump that when you turn to the side you could see it was one of those boys like it was huge is that my mom yeah my parents are here so if you hear talking well, I'm sure you've been hearing like the shower go on my sister's home. And now my grandma and grandpa are here too. That's why I wanted to film kind of earlier. It's like, an, I think it's like about 11 already. I started filming like around 10, 20. So this is a pretty good match. I feel like I'm still pretty tan, you know? Like I'm, I still have kind of a bronze on because, you know, I live in California. So it's not like the sun is like completely gone. If you know what I mean. gonna peek I've been using some new products but I'm still trying them out it's finally November and I wanted to do like a really glam Thanksgiving look but I don't know exactly the color I want to use I mean I I do I wanted to use like the basic colors as you guys know I used to use like the powder puff but this powder is pretty drying it's the beauty bakery powder it's pretty matte so I don't feel the need to like go in with that powder like the the which one was I using? the Too Faced one is perfect if you like to do like the um what Patrick started and he puts like the powder everywhere. I really recommend that to use a powder puff with that one. It's very very thin. It it's pretty mattifying, but not like this one. 
This powder is a it's a little bit more grainy. So now I'm using a little bit of this powder. And the reason I'm looking out there is because there's people outside. So I keep getting distracted with whatever they're doing. And then if you see anybody coming in, it's because my family's nosy and they don't really know how to mind their business. But it's fine because I do that to them all the time too. Like it's so weird because like I know people that have to have their door closed. But like I was never used to having my door closed. So I just never have it closed. So when it's closed everybody thinks there's like a problem or something. Like I'm trying to hide something but I'm not. I'm just doing a video. The only time my door is closed is literally when I'm filming a video. If not, my door is always open. I mean, also, I don't really like to be in my room, like, by myself. I feel like that's very depressing. I like to be around people. Now that I'm seeing this, like, in the light, it is more of a bronzy shade. Oh, I'm talking about the this bronzer. But I don't use this as a bronzer. This is, like, a contour shade to me. Whenever I use it as bronzer, I look very gray. Like, I would, I need it to be more orange. But what I have been using as bronzer, which... You guys are going to think I'm so extra, but... I mean... So, as you can see... As you can tell, I've been holding in the... I've been holding in... <laughs> I've been holding the uh, Graveyard Girl palette. Because first of all, first of all, the mirror is huge. But I used to be obsessed with this palette. But the bronzer in this palette, it's the Sweet Tea... It's very pigmented, so you don't need a lot of it. But I've been loving to use this as my bronzer, Avi. Because it's just very bronzy. It's very orange. Put the bronzer down your neck, too, and just have it on my chest. Okay, so I'm going to let that bake, and I'm going to go in with some eyebrow gel. Ow. I'm going to go in with this palette again, and I'm just going to go in with a couple of shades to just smuck out my lash line. My makeup brushes are so dirty. It's just like I'm getting makeup everywhere. I know my background is very weird, but the lighting, like going this way, is just so good. I really love the lighting here. I feel like this foundation is a lot less full coverage than I usually put on. I mean, I know you can build it up, but I really didn't. The blush I've been using is Toasted Cinnamon by Burt's Bees. And this is a bronzy blush, so I just look bronze. For highlight, we're going to do a little combo, so I'm just going to go in with my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer, I mean, highlighter and champagne. So I'm going to go in just with like a Morphe brush. I mean, you can go in with like uh, your finger or your beauty sponge, but it also, it does work with a, a brush. And then I'm going to go in with... My Anastasia Sugar Glow Kit, and I'm gonna set it with Butterscotch. I think that's the shade. I'm gonna try to use Butterscotch. These are very powdery, very glittery, so I do either like to go in when my face is wet or just um, on top of a cream product so it has something to stick on. I'm gonna go in with a smaller brush and just put it on the tip of my nose. And the bridge and then on my cupid's bow. Ow. I'm gonna go in with some Morphe setting spray. Now I'm gonna go in with my sponge one more time and I'm just gonna press that into the skin. I'm going to go in with another spray. This is the um, Revolution Makeup Revolution Pro Fix Oil Control. And then one more time with the sponge. I'm going to curl my lashes. Bam. And then I'm going to go in with the NARS Climax Mascara. This mascara is very good. Like, yes. So now I'm going to go in with Strip Down Lip Liner, and then I'm going to go in with NYX London. I'm going to go ahead and do my hair, and I'm going to wash my hands because they're very dirty. So, I'll be right back. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, 
I know it was kind of long. I'm sorry, but you know what? We just got ready together. Like, yes. So, yeah, I'll see you guys.